Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can customize the look of your pivot table. So if you've created a pivot table, you can go under the design tab and search from one of the many pivot table styles that are that are preset in here. Now the problem is these may not be exactly what you're looking for. And so the good news is you can modify the look of these of these styles. You have the option to either create a new pivot table style from scratch or you can select one of these that you know maybe you like and you just want to adjust a little bit so if you right click duplicate and now you can start making changes to it so you see a whole lot of different options here as to the formatting so there's whole table there's report filters first column first row and you'll see the ones that are bolded are the ones that actually have been have been modified and so like the grand total row if we click on format there, you know, we can see that, uh, you know, we can assign a, a color to this. Let's say, let's say a, a dark blue. Hit OK, and now you can see that dark blue grand total will apply. So if I hit OK, and then I still need to select it from the style here, which is under my custom now. And now you can see, now that dark blue formatting is applied. I can adjust this further by clicking modify, and I'll take back to that grand total row. I can adjust the font color. So instead of black, it's white. You know, um, you know, you can modify the the subheadings, all sorts of. There's plenty of things that you can do here. Um, as far as modifying, let's let's just modify the header row. How about let's make that a bit lighter. So fill color right now. It's got that dark blue. Let's say we want to go for a lighter blue since we have dark um, dark blue elsewhere font color can can stay white hit OK and now it's updated so now we've got that header row so depending on uh, how you want it to look obviously you can modify the font color and the background color it may take a little bit of trial and error to get used to what what all these different options mean but once you've got it it's saved in there and you can even right click and set it as a default for this file so do adding this Adding this um, uh, style is not going to apply to other Excel files, nor will setting the default apply to other Excel files here. Well, the changes that you make here will be limited to this file. And so if you've got styles that you may want to use, you may want to use a file as a, as a template going forward for any time you're using pivot tables for that, pur for that purpose. Another thing that's useful to customize is slicers. If I were to go to insert slicer, um, say, add a couple of slicers here. What one of the things that I feel is lacking in Excel is these these slicer um, layouts are not really terribly great. Usually, it's just modifying the highlighting, um, the selections, the actual background. Usually, it doesn't change. So this is a good option of where you may want to modify. So again, I hit duplicate, and I can modify how the whole slicer looks. So instead of having that blank fill look, I can use a dark blue background. and get a font color of white, just to make sure there's any text on there. It'll display. And after hitting okay, you always need to actually go back and select that style you just made. Otherwise it's not gonna take. So you can see by just modifying it there, you can, you can make a lot of changes to it. And so there's a lot of different options, like you've got even the hover. Um, when, you, when you hover over an item that has data versus no data, there's a whole lot of detail that you can go through in here that um, you know you can play around with. It does show you a bit of a preview as to what some of these items look like. You know, if we were to change this from this from this yellow to you know, let's say uh, let's say a green. Okay, you'll see you'll notice that preview updates in there for if you're hovering over anything with data. So if I click OK now, you'll notice now that highlighting is green. So those are just some of the changes that you can make on here and uh, play around with as far as what works and what doesn't, just as a way to make your pivot table stand out from the same old you know, basic pivot tables that people use over and over again. There's a lot more customization that you can apply and potentially reuse over and over again. So that's how you can modify the look of pivot tables and slicers in Microsoft Excel.